Hundreds of Egyptian protesters clashed with security forces outside the Egyptian cabinet in central Cairo on Friday, citing witnesses and state TV. Al Jazeera reports more than 200 injured and at least two killed. FSRN's Noel King has this report from Cairo. Violent clashes between protesters and Egyptian military police began early Friday morning and grew larger throughout the afternoon. A few hundred pro-democracy protesters have staged a sit-in in front of Egypt's cabinet building since late November. Protesters told FSRN that the pitched battle began when one activist taking part in the sit-in was detained by military police and badly beaten. The clashes were confined to a broad avenue leading from Tahrir Square in downtown Cairo and to several smaller side streets. Throughout the afternoon, a handful of men in plain clothes pitched rocks from the roof of a government building onto jeering protesters in the streets below. Other protesters said they were beaten by military police. The protesters armed themselves with stones, pitching them at Egyptian troops. The protesters were mostly young men. Women and older people took part, but most stood a few hundred yards from the front line. One protester, who would only give his name as Abdullah, says he's been part of the cabinet sit-in for several weeks. He says his primary complaint is the Egyptian economy. He's worked as a security guard and has struggled to find work. I graduated from school in 1995, and since then I've been looking for a stable job at a good company. I still haven't been able to find one. That's why I'm here. Others are concerned about the political process. 51-year-old Fatah, a housewife, says her husband told her not to go to the cabinet sit-in. She told her husband she was going to her sister's house and rushed to the scene of the clashes instead. I've been here every Friday since the revolution started in January. I'm still concerned about what's going on here. I want a democracy. I want the military council to step aside. Egyptians voted this week in a second round of parliamentary elections. 18 of 27 Egyptian governorates have now voted. Conservative candidates have done better than expected. The Muslim Brotherhood's Freedom and Justice Party commands around 40 percent of the vote, and strictly conservative Salafi parties have taken another 25 percent. Several protesters expressed dismay that conservative candidates have done so well in the parliamentary elections. Others said they are unhappy that Egypt's presidential election will not be held until July of 2012 and demanded that the election be held sooner. Noel King, FSRN, Cairo.